Right, good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another CAT Grade 10 class. My name is Mr. Gary Behrens, and um, through the last week, we have been discussing a lot of Excel, doing some really cool stuff. Um, again, guys, if you want to speak to me live, please go to the live Q&A tab um, on your screen, and you can follow up with me live. Um, hope you guys are all good. Hello, Karen. Um, it's lovely. Just let me just send out some greetings to all my faithful learners that pop in. How you doing, Karen? Is all good. Um, got an awesome lesson for you guys today. I'm just watching the live feeds as they do pop up. So please just send me a hello if you want to, and I'll greet you through the lesson, guys, as we carry on. I hope you're enjoying the lessons here on the STEM Lockdown Digital School, and you're telling some other people about this. And um, we just out to really learn a lot and, and, and understand Excel and the, the functions that it's got to do. Okay, so... Um, Please, guys, I need you to also advertise this out for us. It's really quite important that other learners also know about this resource that they've got if they're battling with CAT um, and that we can carry on. I hope you guys are all happy. Okay, so yes, send me out a morning. Hello, Tyrone. I can see this. I'm watching the live feeds as they happen. So please go to the live event Q&A and there you can send me a shout out as well as please, guys, what's important is we really got a cool task today. We're going to be building... Um, um, something really that I think boys and girls both will like. And so I want you to go down onto the top of the live Q&A feed. I've left you guys a link there, and I want you just to go and download that specific file today. Okay, and then you can work along with me, and we can do this right. My name is Gary Behrens, and again, I'm going to do my little trademark, Sunny Bonani Abantuana, um, which is just a greeting in Isizulu. It's lovely having you guys all on board. So please, guys, if you don't mind, just go and 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 download that note for me right Tyreek hello how are you Tyreek um hope all is good and um um you guys are all still staying safe that is what we want to see that's really important for us okay guys um Tyreek awesome having you on board hello Lolo um that's also nice to see Hannah good morning Hannah Jason how are you doing guys Wow, this is awesome. All right, guys, I'm going to carry on greeting people as we carry on. Um, and you know what? We can carry on with the actual lesson because we only got an hour. So this is quite important. OK, so right. Good stuff. OK, my next little side. Today, we're going to be looking at protecting sheets in Microsoft Excel. And we're also going to be doing some hyperlinks to other sheets. So this is really important cat skills, guys. Um, awesome having you guys on board. Please, again, go and download the sheet. That's really, really important. Okay, right, good stuff. For the new people who've just joined up, okay, there is another address. So, you know, the live feed or the live Q&A will disappear. But if you look through the YouTube video again, this link is always there for you guys that you can have a look at the lessons. All right, okay, good. Okay, so I'm going to ask you guys to go and download and open up the file called Diary. Okay, and guys, don't we all need this thing? So I'm going to just tab to one of my other screens and if you followed the link this is what you've got here it is we're going to click on week four and we're looking at thursday watch out don't go to tuesday guys tuesday is past all right so we're going to go to thursday and we click on thursday and there is the diary xls file um, that we're going to look at i'm going to download and open this for you Okay, good stuff. If you can tell me if you guys got the file, and please remember to click on Enable Editing when you are ready, okay? Um, I'll just give you guys a minute to do this and check that you have got the file open. If you can just send me a shout out and just say, hey, sir, I got the file, then I know I'm happy. All right, good. Hi, Arthur. Nice to see you um, on this. And uh, Anele, that's also nice to see you here. Morning, everybody. Anonymous. Hello, my friend. How are you doing? It's so nice to get to the old faithfuls back again. Really, guys, it's awesome. Please, again, a reminder to tell all your friends about this real cool channel. Um, uh, there's a guy over there, a crazy educator, who can help you out with your cat, and that's what things are about. Okay, good stuff. Just checking through some of the posts still, just waiting for everybody to get their file up. Thanks, Tyrone. Have you got it? That's awesome. 
Okay, guys, are you people enjoying the lesson so far? Hey, it's something different, hey? So this is quite cool. And this is how we learn cat. Okay, guys, let's have a look at this. So I thought, what is the best way of learning skills for you guys? Um, we all got mobile phones. We all got these things. But you know what? Um, I wanted to make a personal diary, something like my little black book. You know, we all got these little black books um, where I can keep real important stuff in my life or important stuff that, that, that everybody needs. So I thought, okay, how can I build a lesson for you guys where I can password protect this thing, you know, from prying eyes, you know, those people who look at what you do, you know. So the idea is not to be scaly, that's not the word, but the idea is so that you can build a diary for yourself, but also password protect it. Now in a company, why would we want to password protect files? I want you to imagine that you are the director of a company and you do all your salaries in Microsoft Excel. Surely you want to keep those things locked down or else somebody's going to see all the salaries. So it's quite important, this little lesson. But instead of doing salaries, which is boring, I thought I'll make a diary. Are you guys happy with it, people? So um, who's excited? If you if you tell me, hey, sir, hello, Malusi, that you are excited for this, tell me, yes, let's go, sir. Okay, so... For the new users in Excel or the people who've just joined up, okay, I want you to look. I always use tabs at the bottom and I keep explaining that out every lesson that we do because I don't want anybody to be left behind. Right, so you'll see I've got a tab at the bottom of Excel which is information and this is what we're going to do. We're going to learn about cell protection. We're going to protect our worksheet or our workbook. We're going to create a personal diary. That's our main goal. Okay, add pictures and graphics which is going to be awesome and please guys, um, I don't think you'll be able to complete the whole diary today, but you know what, if you want to carry on working on it and you remember me with that, that's awesome. Then I know there's one lesson that you'll never forget in your life, which is awesome. Okay, right, so there's a tag called, or a tab called stickers, and I took some time last night and check all these cool little stickers that I got here, and you can move them around, okay, and you can put these things on your little diary, and if you want more, I'll be showing you how to do some of those things just now. Okay, cool, so these are these little cool stickers um, that you can see there on your screen. I think, let me just zoom up a little bit more and you guys can see my screen a little bit better. Okay, so oh, check it this, I love you. That's just quite awesome if I could put that on a diary. Oh, little crazy monkey, he's not happy and Friday fun. So you're really, some cool stuff coming up. All right, good stuff. I'm just checking through some of the chats again because I want to keep you guys in the loop. Okay, um, I'm also happy you're excited. Very excited, Tyreek and Malusi again. Morning, sir, cool. All right, good stuff. Now, there's our stickers and I want you to look at January 2020. Okay, so what I did, guys, is I just gave you a basic layout of a diary. Okay, now again, you guys are doing cat, so you can change all these various aspects here. I've got to try and teach you guys some real cool skills though with it. Okay, good. So let's just look at this diary, right? So what uh, what would you need in a diary? I wanted notes, and yeah, you can see I've given you a little section for notes, and I thought put in today's calendar, which is quite cool. Well, not today's calendar, the month of January's calendar at least, and memories are forever, and even add in some cool YouTube links. How's that, eh? So this is going to be a real cool little diary. Are you guys all with me there? I just want to give a minute and check through some posts again. Are you guys getting the idea of how this diary is going to look like at least? Okay, reading through some. I'm waiting for you guys to type me some, uh, yes sir, I'm here and or I'm understanding what this thing is about. Okay, all right, good. Are you guys happy? All right, good stuff. Okay, so guys, let's have a look at this diary. So yeah, I've given you basically a template page, okay? Right, so let's try and do this um, locking and protecting cells and things like that in the latter. Okay, good stuff. What I want you to do is First, let's go and say, let's go and do um, a skill that I think a lot of learners battle with and also don't know about, and that is to consider if I want to put a comment on something. Okay, so let's have a look at this calendar that we've got here that I've designed for you. Let's play. Can we play together, guys? That your birthday is on the 25th of January. Can you see the cell E32? Let's play that it's your birthday on that one. And I want Excel to tell me using a little comment that, hey, it's my birthday. 
Okay, so let's play it's your birthday on this day. So I want you to take your mouse and I want you to click on column E32, which is the 25th. We're playing that it's your birthday. Okay, right. And what I want you to do, I'm going to zoom up for you guys again. Wow, that's it. All right. Now I'm sure you can see the calendar properly here. Right. On this one, I want you to push your right button. Okay. Your right button. And then I want you to click on insert comment. Right. Good. And you'll see that Excel does this little option here for you guys. OK, where it says me, that's me who's writing. You might see your name there. That's up to you. I just want you to take that out and I want you to do in a little comment. Right. So it's my B day. OK, um, happy days. OK, cool. How's that? It's my birthday. Happy days. Can you see that's what I filled in on the comment? OK. Right, so again, um, you can put in any comment that you wanted to. Maybe even you can put in a smiley. Let's do that. Let's add a smiley to this uh, comment section. Okay, right, good. I hope you guys are learning. This is awesome. So I didn't know it could do this. Yes, it can. So let's have a look. Right, so when I'm done with my comment, I take my mouse and I click off, off my comment box. Okay, and please look what has happened to your spreadsheet. Okay, I'm going to try and zoom up. Did you see there's this little red block or little red arrow on the top right hand side corner of the cell? And when you keep your mouse over it, guess what? It pops up and it says, it's my birthday. Hey, isn't that cool? Okay, so you can automate some really things, really nice things. So as you're busy building your little diary, you can add these little comments. It's my birthday. Happy days. Okay, good stuff. All right, um, let's go pick another one. Um, let's play together that on the first of uh, next month. So that would be February, this one here. So I'm going to click on, ask you guys to click on uh, Tuesday. So that's column F33. Go to column F33. And I want you to push your right button there again and click on insert comment. Okay, cool. And I want you to take out that you don't want to write me. Okay, I don't want, I want, I don't want that in there. You can take that out. And let's say, um, um, let's say if you're a boy or girl, let's say homework, homework due for cat. Okay. Oh, not Jews. Good heavens. How am I writing today on this Thursday morning? Homework due for cat. Okay. And I click off. Right. Good stuff. And you'll see now that I've got two comments on here. So that's pretty cool. What do you think, guys? Are you guys learning something? Let me quickly check my chats. Come, guys. Let's see. Right. Are you guys enjoying so far? OK, just checking through the chats and I'm waiting for a little bit of a reply from you guys. OK, good. Right. So that's awesome. OK, so sir, how do I delete a comment? What happens if I made a mistake and I don't like the comment that I put in there? All right. Very easy, guys. Again, I go to the cell. I push my right button and there you'll see the word delete comment. OK, so let's go and delete that homework is due. Um, homework due for cat. Um, let's go and right click and let's go delete. OK, zap. OK, let me just make sure that I'm clicking on the right delete comment and there's the delete comment gone. OK, so that's pretty easy to put a comment in or to take a comment out. Now, that's quite nice, guys, because you can use this to give people instructions or spreadsheets or whatever the case may be. OK, are you guys happy with that? so far ah this is awesome what a lack of lesson all right good stuff now let's go to notes here at the top where it says date as well and let's put in today's date so i want you to go to column b10 okay and in b10 let's type in today's date today's the 23rd of the fourth all right 2020 okay and i'm going to write here um as a comment um lockdown lockdown um Sheesh, we need, we need a break. Okay, right, cool.
lockdown, sheesh, we need a break. So can you see this becomes like your own little interactive diary that you've got for everything. Okay, so if I went to the 23rd year, let's go to the 23rd or the 24th, or it's really up to you when you want to do this. Um, this is your little diary, which makes it very, very powerful. Okay, but I could insert a little comment here on the 23rd, insert a comment, right click, there I went, right click, insert comment, and I'm just going to write here, lockdown, lockdown, uh, still in progress, Okay, for example, I'm just showing you guys what you guys can do. So isn't that awesome, people? So I can insert these little comments in my little diary. Okay, so apart from learning protection, I am also learning that my little diary becomes quite interactive. Are you guys all happy with this so far, you people? Hey? All right, very simple. Yes, Tyreek, that's what it's about. And you know what? It's these little skills that you guys can learn to try and see how this thing goes further. Okay, now let's go and try and fancy up our diary a little bit. I want you to check or for the new learners and for those other people we were going through some skills. I'm going to zoom up on this cell here. So please don't follow me on this one. It's just purely that you guys can see what I'm writing. Okay, good stuff. Guys, CTRL plus C equals what? Copy. Am I right, guys? And CTRL plus V equals what? Oops, let me just do an equals here. Paste. Are you guys happy with those things? Those are simple little skills, eh? Okay. And another one, CTRL plus X equals cut. All right. There are some important shortcuts. Okay. So let me just do this for you guys. Let me write shortcuts shortcuts for you guys okay because we're going to need this little shortcuts now to do the next part of our little calendar okay let me just merge those two cells there and make that yellow then at least you guys are happy with that okay cool right so let's try and do this okay so i want to bring over some pictures and decorate my little january slide okay so i've done you guys some stickers so i'm going to click on the stickers worksheet and i'm going to pick spongebob SpongeBob SquarePants. Oh, geez, don't start, sir. Please don't sing either. All right, good stuff. So, Control C to copy. Right, there we go. And I click on my January worksheet, Control V to paste. And there's my SpongeBob. And I can start moving some real cool stuff around my little calendar here. Okay, so let's go and see. That's an awesome little sticker over there. Let me go grab another one. I want you just to have some fun. Happy birthday. There's my little birthday hat. Control X. Remember, we put a comment on this one. Now, look what happened when I pushed Control X. I cut it. I hope you noticed that. All right, good. I'm going to just return that back. Control X is to cut. And then please remember, if you cut, it's going to remove it off that specific sheet. And that's really quite important when you're using data as well, guys. When you cut it, you remove it, and you're moving it to another place. Copy will leave it there and return it or make a copy of that and put it on your sheet. Control C again. I'm going to take the birthday hat. Let's go over to Control V again. Okay, great stuff. And let's scale this thing down and let's put it there. It stands there by my birthday. I'm going to move this up. Guys, my birthday isn't on the 25th of January. Thank goodness. I hope yours isn't because that's hopefully payday for some people. But can you see, I can put the little picture on. And apart from that, um, it still shows the comment, okay, which is pretty cool. Okay, so that's really awesome. How's that? A little birthday, right? Good stuff. Let's zoom out on this one some more. And let's go grab another picture from my stickers library. I want to grab the wow, control C to copy. Let's go back to January. And I'm going to go and put this over here. Wow. Hey, guys, isn't this an awesome little diary that we're busy building here? Um, I hope you're having some fun with this. So we're learning while we are doing graphics, which is awesome. Okay, I'm going to go to the stickers again. And maybe, hmm, Friday fun. Let's bring in this one, Control C. And I'm going to go Control V again. And Friday fun, I'm going to put in, guys, can you see how I'm decorating my little calendar? That was the idea, using some stickers. Okay, now, for you guys who want to carry on with some homework with this task, if you want to carry on building your little slide, Okay, I want you please to try and find some more of these pictures. Okay, and it's really quite easy to find them as long as you're looking for on Google. If you look for this again, I'm going to do this for you. 
I just want to give those people some tips as we're carrying on. All right, so I'm going to go tips here. Okay, are you guys happy with that? Right, pictures must be PNG format. Okay, guys, portable network graphics. That's what that stands for. So these pictures are PNGs, and you can see that they don't have that white border behind it. So if you want to do go and find your own cool um uh, little pictures or stickers please go and search on the internet for png format pictures and you can copy and paste those pictures into your little diary as we're carrying on are you guys all with me still okay let me just go and read some comments while you guys carry on i just want you to stick a couple of more pictures on your diary if it is your birthday in january i'm not sure when your birthday is then you want to do this okay cool right so let's just quickly have a look i'm just going to go through some uh some uh, pictures. Okay, Tyron saying mind blowing. Okay, which is awesome. And Tyreek is saying our ah, cat. Okay, and uh, guys, that's awesome. Duduzile Unjani, is everything good? Yes, sir. All right, awesome. Karen, um, she's enjoying this thing. She says it's the dopest thing ever. Jason is there, guys. It's awesome having you guys on board. I hope you are enjoying. Um, the cat lessons that we are doing. Okay, this is what it's about. Okay, cool. So we are still busy shelling out our little um, diary. And it doesn't it look cool, guys, if I zoom out on this thing a little bit. Let me zoom out just to see my page. All right, awesome. Now, guys, remember we're building up to where we want to protect this. Okay, that's the lesson. So apart from me teaching you guys some real cool skills in Excel, we are also learning the main skill, which is how to protect the sheet. And we're going to do this just now, okay? But I want you guys still to do some more to this actual um, My Life Diary that we are doing, okay? Good. Now, I've got this little section here, which says Memories Are Forever. Now, this is where the cool part comes in, okay? So, yesterday I said to you guys, if you don't mind, I would like you please to go and find some pictures of you, um, of your family or something like that where you've got a memory. OK, and you know what, guys, you guys know as well as me. We all put our photos on phones and when you look again, you sometimes you lose these things. You say, sheesh, man, can you remember I was in grade one at that time? And oh, I've lost my pictures when I was in grade one. So this will keep you a nice lockdown of that as well, as long as somebody doesn't delete your Excel spreadsheet. OK, cool. So, guys, let's quickly have a look at this then again. OK, so all of us have got YouTube favorites. Am I right? OK, good stuff. So I'd like to show you how to do this piece here. Okay, and we're going to do a hyperlink. All right, so this is going to be really quite nice. Okay, so guys, you can either put in yourself a YouTube link into this and it will save it there, which is quite nice. Okay, so I'd like to show you guys how to do this one. So watch what I'm going to do here. All right, I'm going to go to my stickers side and I'm going to take the YouTube logo. Here it is. See it? YouTube logo. I'm going to copy this YouTube logo and I'm going to bring it over and I'm going to paste it there. Okay, right, so you can put a couple of them in there. It's up to you, okay? And I'm just going to scale this so that it fits on nicely inside my little block. Can you see that? Okay, guys, I'm using my skills and dragging um, cells and whatever the case may be. Right, let's assume I've put it there. Okay, so YouTube favorites. There I've got some of my YouTube favorites and we all got this, okay? Now what I'm going to do, if you don't mind, I'm going to flop into um, my browser quickly i hope i haven't closed mine off all right so there's my browser and i'm going to go into youtube quickly www.youtube.com okay cool right now all of us are different here okay good stuff and i'm going to look for uh let's go um i'm trying to think of a cool song that i can play in um Guys, I'm trying to think of something. Maybe you guys can help me out with a cool song. I think I'm going to do this one because it's special for you guys and just for you guys. Right, and I'm going to go for Higher Love. Higher Love. Okay, let's play that one. And that was from Whitney Houston. Okay, um, and that was the official song. So let's play that. Um, that is a cool song that I want to use. I'm going to use this one. 
or it's really up to you guys. Or maybe what I can do is look at the Ndlovu Youth Choir. Right, isn't that awesome, guys? So let's play that. That's my favorite clip. And yeah, you can see it's going to play. All right, so I don't not really worry because you guys want your audio. Um, or maybe you can through my mic. I don't know. Yes, there they are. I'm so proud of these guys and Glover Youth Choir guys. That was amazing stuff. All right, so let's say that's my favorite YouTube clip for January. Let's play. Okay, so I'm going to go to the, the top of my address bar and I'm going to copy that link in. Right click, look, I highlighted it. I'm going to right click, copy. There it is. And now I can go back to Excel. Okay, let's go back to Excel. Right, good stuff. I'm going to go back to my Excel. There's my Excel file. And I'm going to put in a hyperlink. Okay, so watch how we do this. So make sure you click on your little YouTube icon. I'm going to click on insert. Okay, and I find this little button which says hyperlink. It's got an earth ball and a link on it. Okay, cool. So if I click on the hyperlink button, it says address. Can you see that, guys? There's the address. Okay, I'm going to click in that block. And what did I have to learn to paste? What's the shortcut? Control V. Okay, cool. And there it pasted in that link which I copied from YouTube. Can you see that? Okay. Now I can click on OK. All right. Now, can I test this and see if it works? Okay, let's go and test this, guys. Let's go and test this. Okay, so I'm just zooming out that you guys can see my calendar so far. And I clicked anywhere. And let me go and click on YouTube. There, check it turned into a little hand. Can you, did you guys notice that? When you've done it right, I've got this little hand now where there's a button. So if I click on it, let's see. Right, and there it opens up YouTube. And there it plays the video. How awesome is that? Oh, check it them. Oh, shame. I love them, Love Youth Choir, guys. It's really awesome. Okay, yeah, I'll just let them go a little bit. Ah, awesome. Okay, are you guys happy with that? All right, cool. So how awesome is that? So you can bring in actual hyperlinks into your Excel documents with a cool little picture. Okay, so if you've got some cool favorite songs that you like, you can put this inside your memories of forever section and it will go automatically and link to that. Are you guys all with me, guys? All right, let's quickly hear. All right, I'm looking at the chats. Um, let's have a look, Jason. Um, I'm just looking. Right, um, Tyreek, um, I'm trying to read some some uh, checks as we go. Arthur, I love this lesson. Yes, Arthur, it's awesome. I'm checking with you guys. It's fantastic. Gerald, awesome. Okay, um, Tyreek, um, sorry to bother you. Uh, do you insert information on the calendar? Yes, um, I'd like you to do that. Um, you can you can type in some information in the in the little comments if you wanted to. That's up to you guys. Um, okay, uh, Jason, you're also asking for send the link again. Um, I'm not sure what link you're looking for, sir. So um, the, the link in the YouTube, in other words, you can go find your own one. Okay, the trick here is that I've taught you a skill how to insert a hyperlink into your YouTube faves, which is quite cool, hey, eh, guys? All right, good stuff. Are you guys all with me? Right, let's just quickly see. Um, I'm not sure if you guys got it right, so I just want to check. Um, looking through this uh, chats a little bit. Okay. Right. Tyrone, um, I still got, I'll check about links with you guys as we carry on. Right, good stuff. Okay, so guys, that's a YouTube link. Are you guys happy? Okay, now, guys, what you can do is we basically can still add in some real cool things here. So let, let's play you've got a pet. Um, a doggy, um, and you want to also say, right, you know what, it's his birthday or it's or it's her um, little something that she did. Again, if you don't mind, I'm just going to go find a picture online to show you as well. So I'm going to take my mouse now and I'm going to click on online pictures and this dialog box would open up. You don't have to click on online pictures. If you want to put a picture of your dad or your mom or somebody special to you, you'll, going, you'll go to insert pictures and you'll browse 
for your picture and you can put them on your little calendar as well. But in this case, um, in fact, you know what? Maybe I should put myself on here. Why not? All right, so I'm going to go to pictures and I'm going to go and see if I've got a picture on the desktop. Please do not laugh at my funny face. Um, that would be unfair. <laughs> I'm just going to go find a little picture here, guys. Right, so there's a picture of me over there. And what I'm going to do is just scale this down. OK, let me just scale this down. Sure, I'm busy scaling it down for you guys. Remember, I'm at a different Zoom and I'm going to turn this a little bit. Can you see I'm learning the skills, guys, of playing with it? OK, and then I can do cool things like adding borders. Can you see this at the top here because I'm in the picture tools? All right, good stuff. And uh, I can put pictures on my little calendar as well. All right, did you see that, guys? Isn't that awesome? So that's like for January. OK, are you guys all with me at this point? OK, good stuff. And I've got a YouTube link, which is awesome. If you want to put an MP3 um, of some music that you got, this is what it's all about. OK, so isn't this a lot of fun? So guys, I've showed you how to do comments. We've done a little hyperlink from to a YouTube video and we're not finished yet. We still got quite a bit to do so, which is awesome. OK, so stay here. I hope you got tea or coffee or a nice cappuccino. That would be awesome. And um, we're going to carry on. OK, guys, let's have a next. OK, so I can see when it's January. Now, how are we going to do February, March, April, May, June, July? OK, guys, this is where you got to start using your copy and paste functions. OK, so really quite important. So what you could do is um, to copy this whole lot, guys, this whole lot that I've got here. You could use certain functions. OK, and what I'm going to do is I want you to get used to this little icon here on the right hand side, which is the select all. Hope you guys can see where I'm moving my mouse. I'm actually hovering over this at the moment. Right. If I click on this button, right, watch. It selects everything, every row, every column. OK, it's selected it. Right. Then I can right click with my mouse. OK, and I can go copy. Right. You'll see it looks like a disco. It looks like an old 90s, 80s disco has highlighted everything on my sheet. Can you see that? Right, and I'm going to create a new tab at the bottom or a new sheet. I'm just going to hover around this so that you guys can see it. I'm going to click on the plus sign and I'm going to double click where it says sheet one. So now I'm teaching you how to rename tabs and create new sheets. And I'm going to type in February, Feb 2020 and then push enter. OK, so I've got January and I've got February. Okay. Now again, guys, I just want to go back to Jan 2020. Can you see it's still selected, which is awesome. Excel remembers that you wanted to copy this. OK, right. So I'm on Feb 2020. What do I need to do now? Simply go right click. OK, and go paste. Right. Boom. There's my paste. OK, so guys, Excel does not know that you want to create February though. So there is some stuff that we're going to have to change. Okay. Like at the top here, it says January 2020. We're going to have to change this to Feb. So there I go. And I change that one to Feb 2020. Okay. We don't maybe want those comments. And maybe I want to bring in some new pictures. So I'm deleting those. Can you see that, guys? Also, my birthday is not there. And this date is going to be 02. February. Sorry, you can see I'm just adjusting my calendar 0221 and then we're going to have to look at redoing the calendar itself. So there's always some work. So I would select all in those blocks, delete that out, remove out the comments. You can see I'm deleting out the comments. OK, and I've got a blank calendar here. So you guys are going to have to go and have a look. Um, what day February starts on and then type in those dates again. OK, and you'll do that for January and for February and for March and April and May going up to December. That's why I said it might take a couple of days for you to build this little calendar. But heck, it's going to be awesome when you are done. OK, good stuff. And you can put in your new links uh, for the next month. So that's really quite nice. OK, so guys, um, what I wanted to show you is a hyperlink from a 
sheet to another sheet. Okay, so that's why I asked you to try and create February. All right, um, if I went a bit quickly, I can always go through this again with you guys, but I think then just have a look and you can follow up here then. Um, as long as you are understanding what's happening and you could copy and paste this through. Are you guys still with me, people? All right, just checking through some of the chats. Okay, whoa, Karen's saying, all right, so she's smiling. Right, Kwabena, um, thank you so much that you are here, Kwabena. It's awesome. Just going through the chats. Guys, you know, a PC does help. Um, on a tablet or something like that, you don't always get all the functions, uh, Kwabena. Um, so, yeah, a PC does help when you're working on the lessons. It really does, um, especially with CAT as well. You do need a computer. So, but yes, um, uh, Kwabena, if you're just looking out to do this and you want to build this when you are on a computer, by all means. Okay, guys. Right. So, just looking through some of the chats, making sure you guys are all there and we can carry on. Okay, are oh, you guys, can I ask you to do me a favor? Please just send me a thumbs up, a little picture or, hey, sir, this is cool. Then I know you guys are still with me. I'm looking through the live chats. Um, are you enjoying it so far, guys? Hey, this is what's important. Okay, I don't want to run out of too much time. So if you don't mind just sending me a little um, uh, link and then we can see where we go. All right, good. Also remember that your YouTube, it's always available on YouTube. Okay, if you go to um, Africa Team Geeks on YouTube, Africa Team Geeks on YouTube, you'll get this lesson. Just look for cat, okay? And then give me a thumbs up and, uh, and uh, the more views we get, the better. Okay, good stuff. Right, so check this out now, guys. Right, so. I showed you basically how to do this part. So you can fancy this up, make it all your emo colors and, and doodle and whatever the case may be. All right, now I want you to look at February. Now guys, again, reminder when you copied and pasted that you'll have to go and change these dates. Um, Excel is not gonna do this for you. Okay, and then you decorate up February and March and April and put in your little comments and things like that. But the skill that I want to give you is this one. Check this out. Can I ask you to click back on January 2020? Okay, cool. Now, wouldn't it be cool, sir, if we had a button here that would jump from January to February without me clicking on the tabs underneath? Yes, we can do that. And it's called a hyperlink. Check this out. Right, you click on the word insert. Okay. And when you look at shapes, right, there's a little arrow that drops down on shapes, okay? I can find maybe a arrow that points to the right. Okay, there I've clicked on arrow that points to the right, okay? And I'm gonna put it here. Right, there's a little arrow now. Did you see I dragged and dropped it there? Which is awesome, okay? And now when I click on this little arrow, I want it to jump to the next month. Okay, cool. So instead of going to the tab at the bottom here, yeah, da, 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 no, no, no. Come on, let's automate this a little bit, okay? So I've put a little arrow down. Okay, so you make sure that you clicked on the arrow. I then click on insert, and I'm going to go and find the hyperlink function again. There is the, it's the little earth ball with a little chain connected. Okay, add a hyperlink. Right, I'm gonna click on this one. Now, instead of putting the YouTube link in there, okay, check this out. It says place in this document. Can you see that? Place in this document. Yeah, I'm highlighting it. I wonder if I can zoom up. No, it won't allow me there at this point. Place in this document. Where do you want it to go to? It's telling you. Um, where do you want it to go to? Okay, so you want a hyperlink, which is awesome. Where do you want it to go to? I want it to go to February 2020. So I'm going to click on February 2020. I click on OK. Boom. Okay. Now let's test it. So I click off. So, sir, if I click on that little arrow now, it should take me to February's calendar then, in other words, or the February sheet that I created. Let's test it. So there I move over it. I haven't clicked it. I'm just moving over the little arrow that I put out. Let's click it. Dunk. Ah! Did you see I'm even clapping? Check my hyperlink works, sir. Isn't that awesome? Okay, so you can go and create hyperlinks. Okay, so let's do this one. Okay, let's go to February. Now in February, I want to go back to January. Am I right, guys? So let's go again. Insert a 
back arrow. Here I'm going to go back arrow and I'm going to put one there. Okay. Right. And I'm going to put in another hyperlink to go back to January. Okay. So insert again. I'm going to click on hyperlink and I'm going to click on. Uh, good day, sir. Please note that we've got five minutes left. Thank you, sir. I'm going to click on January. Okay. And there we go. So I can jump between my two different items. Okay. Good stuff. Now, guys, we only got five minutes left and I want to show you how to protect your worksheet. So please, let's look at this one. Right. Now to lock the spreadsheet that nobody can open it up. It's like a diary. Right, you're going to do this for me and you need to be very cautious that you don't forget your password or else it won't open again. OK, guys, right. I want you to take your mouse. You're going to click on the word file. And yeah, it says protect workbook. Can you see that? All right, protect workbook. There it is right at the top. Right. If you click on it, it's going to say protect current sheet, protect workbook structure. I want you to click on um, Protect current sheet. OK, right, guys, and you can put in a password that nobody can um, change what you've done. OK, so I'm just going to click cancel there. I just want to show you. You can click on file and you can click on protect worksheet. OK, and you can go to protect or encrypt with a password. OK, now that's the one that I want you to look at. OK, I'll show you again you can click on file. And you can go to protect workbook encrypt with a password. OK, now, guys, please don't forget your password, because if you forget your password, it, Microsoft actually tells you caution. If you lose or forget the password, it cannot be recovered. It is advisable to keep a list of passwords and their corresponding document names in a safe place. Remember, passwords are case sensitive. OK, so if you don't mind, I'm going to make my password one, two, three, four, five. OK, so there I type it in. OK, that's a simple password I know. OK, right. It asks you, do you want to re-enter? Please confirm your password. One, two, three, four, five. And I go, OK. Right, guys. So now it tells you a password is required to open this workbook. OK, so guys, if you don't mind, I'm going to close it off for you just to show you guys. All right, I just want to save this. Right, file, and I'm going to try and just open this again. Look what happens. Now I need a password. Isn't that cool? So now your diary is protected. No one can see what's in there. Okay, so let me try my password. It was one, two, three, four. Okay, and oops. Okay, and let's try it. Can you see? So if I don't fill in the right password, um, it's not going to open. So that means it's working. One, two, three, four, five, and Bah, I'm in my diary. Guys, I hope you people enjoyed this lesson with me today. It's awesome seeing you guys all here. I just want to go back to my presentation. And what I want you to do for homework today is try and do the rest of your little diary. Try those hyperlinks. Um, and then you can continue with us as we carry on and go up to December. Keeps you busy. And isn't it cool to put your family in there in pictures? Right. Okay. Um, Guys, again, what we covered today was look at the personal diary. We looked at the worksheet. We locked the worksheet by adding in a password, which is quite nice. All right, good. Check out some cool links there. Um, for tomorrow, guys, I always like reflecting after a week. So please come back tomorrow again. I'll have something cool that we can look at with everything that we've done um, to help you guys out with that. Okay, right. And then join us again tomorrow for another awesome lesson. Guys, to all my friends out there, Karen, everybody, it was awesome seeing you guys here. Big shout out to everybody. Um, it's been awesome having you guys here for another lesson. Hannah, thank you so much, Karen. I'm so glad you enjoyed it. Um, uh, I will, Gerald, I think what I'll do again is have a look. Maybe you can look on the YouTube video um, when it's posted. And then you, I'll leave the files up so you can get them again. So have a look at that. Um, Duduzila, Gearbil, Gearbonga, everybody. Uh, Karen, all you guys. Kwabena, thank you so much for being here. Malusi, Tyron. Right, um, um, I'm just going through everybody who has posted on this little lesson. Guys, 
This is awesome cat lessons, and it teaches you really important skills. The hyperlinks are awesome. Have some fun with YouTube. Create your own little diary, and that is what is important. Thank you very much, guys. Have an awesome, awesome, awesome day, and um, we'll be seeing you guys um, sometime tomorrow again. Remember 11 o'clock. Oh, and please tell people to join, guys. Send them a WhatsApp on your phone. Say, hey, come on. Come and join me in this lesson. I'd really appreciate that. Okay, guys, have an awesome, awesome, awesome day.